We're just we're waiting for the uh, for the peace judge to start here. What's happened so far is Armadillo went out to uh, make an attempt and didn't quite make it. Here we go. There we go. And the two and a half hour clock has started. So the Armadillo Aerospace team is out on a uh, adventure to try and achieve level one, the level one requirements of the, the Northrop Grumman Lunar Lander Challenge. What that means is they've got to get that vehicle out to a launching pad. It's a concrete pad out in the desert, 10 meters in diameter, take off, reach an altitude of 50 meters or above, hover for at least 90 seconds as they translate down 100 meters to another landing pad, successfully land on the pad, and that means no vehicle park can be off on the ground. It has to be on the pad. It can overhang, but it cannot be on the ground in any way. And then refuel if they need to take off again, same thing back, and land at the same place they originally took off from. Get back here all in two and a half hours. If they do that, and the judge is certified that they do that, they'll be the first winner in this Northrop Grumman Lunar Lander Challenge. What's happened is NASA's put up prize money on this. In this case, $350,000 for the first place prize. That's what they would receive. $150,000 for a second place prize if another team comes in and achieves this goal. And then they could move on to level two. Actually, they could jump to level two now if they want to. But this level two challenge bumps it up significantly to a million dollars for first place and $500,000 for second place prize. So there's some serious money on the line. And we're about to see Armadillo. I guess they're loading up the truck right now. We'll see them pull off. And uh, of course, earlier today, they tried this. Um, and it didn't quite get the visual cues they wanted to, I guess, but they didn't land on the pad. It landed two legs on, two legs off. There's a, there's a little crater at the side of the pad, actually, I saw earlier, where the, where the uh, nozzle blew out the dirt and the vehicle rolled over. It was not damaged. They were able to ride it, come back, go out. If the vehicle's not fueled right now, they will fuel that out of the pad. Their fuel tanks, of course, the, the liquid oxygen doers are up on the, on the truck there along with the ethanol. Ethanol goes into the, uh, all the tanks are aluminum, but the ones that are coated in the uh, insulation is for the liquid, ox liquid oxygen. The, the plain aluminum ones are with the ethanol. Of course, liquid oxygen being very cold. They'll fill those up at the pad and then pressurize. A number of us will be moved back from a distance uh, to a bunker, we call it. It's just a steel building. There'll be a few people in the advanced area. They'll fire off their rocket, refuel, and then we'll see that. You guys will see that on the Jumbotron here locally, and hopefully you'll see that on the webcast as well. So that's what's going on at the uh, North of Grumman Lunar Lander Challenge. Again, this is one of our centennial challenges, NASA centennial challenges. And Renee's been keeping you up to speed on the, the work going on as crews uh, try to compete for the space elevator games as well. That's what's happening down here. We can give you a, uh, an update again as they pull away. We'll go back to the desk right now.